Hi, this is Lindworth playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can. And they continue with Fallout 2, blind. Now, I'm a little lost here in Vault City. Because, uh, first of all, I have no idea where to find the wrench that I need for one of the quests. And second of all, I have this doll, uh, Mr. Nixon doll. And I'm looking for a, for a kid who might have lost it or something, but seemingly there are no children whatsoever in the entire city. So... I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, and it m might mean... Th because one of the guys at Gecko wants a super toolkit, uh, which I was supposed to find here, but I can't find it either, uh, which means I won't get the car anytime soon. I will have to go around the map without it, which is a bit annoying, because it will involve a lot of backtracking later on. But uh, there's also this sick guy, and I bought an antidote specifically to try to help him. So, you use the antidote on Puking Charlie, Mm, seemingly it didn't help. Uh, this man looks terribly sick. You're not sure what's wrong. Yeah, unfortunately, I am not sure about a great deal of things. Uh, but I guess I have to move on for now. Uh, I will go back to the den. And then uh, back to... Mm, Back to Arroyo, a patrol of a patrol unit and dogs subduing slavers. Uh, wait, but who is? So those are slavers, and those patrol guard. Ah, okay, so the guards are killing the slavers, which is, you know, I'm all right with that. Uh, in fact, I'm going to join in. Degenerate filth. Oh, that's uh, mm, interesting. Those are the die outworlders. This is a patrol of Vault City, which is interesting because uh, Vault City citizens are slavers themselves. Uh, they just don't call it that. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. To see the degree of their uh, of their hypocrisy. I don't want to fight uh, the Vault City Guards, although at some point maybe I will, because to be honest I disdain the uh, sort of the society of Vault City and their attitude 
towards slavery in particular. Okay, but the combat is over. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess I have to fight them. Which is interesting and also kind of weird. But I don't feel that bad about them. About that, because, to be honest, the Vault City guards uh, fighting the slavers seems like a, like a classic example of the pot calling the kettle black. In fact, I might uh, disdain the Vault City dwellers more than I do regular slavers, because it seems to me slavers at least are fundamentally honest about them considering slaves subhuman and doing it for profit. Uh, Whereas the people of Vault City, they pretend that, 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 that their system of servitude is something that's actually good for people, and they get all indignant about... Uh, they get all indignant about you even calling it slavery. Uh, so... To be honest, uh, I don't care that much about killing them. Sulik dead? Because if he are, if he is, then I'm obviously not going to take it. I don't want him to die. Okay, Goris is almost dead as well, uh, judging from the fact that he's fleeing, so I don't think I'm going to survive this. Well, I don't think my companions are going to survive this. Yeah, they killed Goris. The bastards. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's some major lag right there. What's up with that? Sometimes I have those horrible uh, frame rate losses. I don't understand. Uh, no, obviously Fallout 2 is such an old game, it should run perfectly on a freaking potato, which is not exactly what I even have. I have a like a mid-range computer, I would say, at this point. Uh, so, I have no idea what's up with the lag. I guess I have to just change zones. Okay, let's go this way. Ok, 
encounter a band of slavers. Okay. Once again, I foresee some inventory shuffling, uh, but it's probably going to be worth it. Highwaymen, okay. I think I should be able to take them.
That's not who I wanted to shoot. some business in the den uh, namely I need to look for a missing ghoul uh, what was his name again um, find a woody yeah so was there a ghoul around here and do, do any of them have anything useful to sell Yellow reactor key got what? Did I sell it to him? I certainly don't remember that. around here Hey, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Check out these threads. What? Who even is that? Is that the guy who owed me money? And he's rich now or something? Uh, looking very nice, I guess. Thank you, thank you. I have four sets of just like these. So you want it big after all. I owe you a lot. You trusted me when I was down on my luck. As a small gesture of gratitude, I have something for you. Okay. Gives you 2,000 bucks, 5 fusion cells, 5 energy cells and a plasma grenade. I hope it helps you, at least a little bit. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'm not going to refuse uh, the reward, because it seems he's doing pretty, we pretty well for himself. Uh, although I'm over-encumbered now as a result of that. But at least I have some ammunition for energy weapons when I happen to get some. That's quite a lot of ammunition, actually. That's pretty great of you, thanks. Uh, however, that doesn't exactly solve the question of where is the ghoul? There's supposed to be a ghoul called Woody. Maybe they did bury him. Mrs. Tamara Winslow, Anna Winslow, Mr. Christopher Winslow, Ed Highland, David Hindy, Fergus, uh, Dennis Presnell. Boyarski, no markings, Gary Platner. An atheist, T.D. Hamilton, Robert Collier, John Doe. Okay, doesn't look like it. 
However, this guy, you can tell him that he can return home? What do you want? Tell Carl what Joe said. You mean I can go home? No more ghosts? Carl breaks down and cries. Boy, nothing like a seeing a grown man cry. Thank you, I can finally go home again. You've sent Carl on his way back to Modok, and you gain 500 experience for that. Uh, yeah, but where's the ghoul? So, Metzger is finally dead. Uh, that he is. And good riddance to him. Okay, the slaves are all free. But where is the ghoul then? <laughs> I'm kind of confused. Maybe I can ask somebody about him. Uh, what would you like to talk to mum about? Uh, well, I wanted to ask you about a ghoul, but I guess you don't know anything about that. Mm. <laughs> what do you have to eat? A medallions of grilled gecko. Uh, what will it be? Well, whatever. Something with not so much rat in it. Mm, you could have the spaghetti. It doesn't have too much rat. Just the sauce. Okay, let me ask you something. Okay. Doesn't mm. didn't give me an option to ask about a ghoul named Woody. And I don't I don't remember seeing anyone like that. So I am a bit confused, but I guess let's let's ask Becky as well. Mm. Didn't you hear? He's dead. Oh, I know I shouldn't be happy, but he was a very evil man. Uh, he put up a good fight. What? You? I don't know what to say. He was such an evil man. Uh, thank you would be enough. Thank you would be enough. I know this isn't right, but... Here, take, take this money. Gives you a thousand back. Hey, keep your money, Rebecca. You're a wonderful man, even though I don't condone, condone, your, condone your actions. You did the world a great service. Uh, thanks. But, do you know anything about a ghoul? I need a drink. Can I ask a question? Uh, I'll help if I can. Okay, so you can't, is what you're telling me. Uh... Hmm. Okay, I don't know where he can be at this point. So I guess let's go further to Arroyo then. Hmm, maybe I'll drop by later. I, uh, hopefully if I ever get the parts need needed to actually buy the car, I will go back to the then to buy it. But at this point, presumably, judging from my adventures so far, the whole map is going to be already explored. So I'm, I'm not quite sure about the utility of the car at that point. But I guess let's go back to Arroyo. Mm, 
some fishermen fending off some cannibals. But, but which are which? Fisherman was hit. So those, those are the fishermen. And I guess those are the cannibals. So... I guess let's enter the fight on the side of the fisherman. Unless, once again, I'm going to fight them all. So they all register as hostile. So I don't quite understand. Okay, so I don't have to fight them, I think. You see rocks. Mm, I'm not interested in that. You're just in time to witness the blessing of the goddess of the sea. When the, when the season of storms begin, we throw rock flowers out on the sea with the tide. After the goddess works her magic, she returns the rock flowers as the rare Xander root. May I see what the goddess has bestowed upon you? Here is what the great goddess has given us this year. We will gladly share its blessing for you, with you, for a price. Okay, so I can buy brock flowers for 10 bucks? May the blessings of the goddess go with you. Mm. Okay, I've already had this conversation. Sharpened sticks. For 40 bags. Ah, so they all have different things that the tide that the tide has sort of brought back for them. And they consider it a blessing of the sea. Zander root. Okay. Sharpened sticks. It's not overly interesting or useful. A war party. A war party of what? A war party of Arroyo? May the, may the spirits of earth swallow you. Spirits of the water desert you. Okay, so I guess it's a rival tribe then. <laughs> Unless they are so angry with me for taking my sweet time while they were dying. Which I wouldn't blame them for. That's actually quite a reasonable reaction. Uh... Chosen, the shadow of darkness arrived before you. What? You look bad, let me help. Were they attacked or or did they just all die out? Too many seasons and too many wounds chosen. Instead, you must listen. All right. Dark souls came. They took everyone. Dark souls? What do you mean? A rush of wind came. On it were great dragonflies that spat flame. Evil men crawled from the beasts' bellies and brought death to our warriors. Hmm. So that's the enclave, right? With the vertibirds? But again, it seems that the game is broken, because I think in some of the dialogue in San Francisco and in the Vault 13 with the Death Clause, it was sort of alluded to the fact that the people of Arroyo have been kidnapped. Uh, but my character didn't know that at the time, and neither did I as a player, so it's so weird. Our warriors couldn't stop them. The spirit was willing, but the spearheads were weak. The evil ones burned our warriors with the lights of hell. They killed everyone. All were dead or taken. My spirit returned to flesh only to reveal the truth to the Chosen. What happened to the ones taken? A strange mist stole their minds and sent them to the land of sleep. The evil ones walked among the dreamers, yet did not dream. 
And then, ah, so they were like subdued with a gas or something, and I presume the Enclave soldiers had gas masks on, so that's why they didn't dream. And then, the beasts swallowed all, then took to the winds. Mm, which way was the wind that they followed going? Did you never listen when I taught you the yearly dance of the wind spirits? South, of course. Um, your descriptions were so vivid and powerful, great Hakunin, that I was often stricken, often stricken senseless for the duration of your lessons. Yes, they travelled the wind south. I overheard the Dark Soul speaking. They planned to rest their beasts at a place named Navarro before crossing the great basin of our Earth Mother's tears. Mm, basin of tears is the ocean, right? Because it's salty? A uh, basin of tears. An ocean of tears cried by a mother for her children. Oh, the ocean. But what shall I do? For me, nothing. Chosen, you must seek the fold of the Dark Ones and rescue our people. I will try. You are the Chosen. You must do. Akunin, are you going to survive? Well, I guess not. I guess he's dead. Oh, and the... Uh, you see what's left of the Arroyo Bridge? There's no way back to the village now. Okay. <sighs> so... Seems everyone was kidnapped. I wonder, what will I do with the gek in the end? Like... They seemingly don't need it anymore, what with them being all dead or kidnapped. But uh, I guess my path leads to Arroyo from this quest as well, which, uh, I mean, to Navarro, which, okay, I will go there. But before I do, I want to go back to the Toxic Caves, because I think I finally have high enough of a skill in repair to repair the generator powering the elevator. Uh, and I would like to check what's downstairs. Mm -hmm. So, let's try that. Okay, to be honest, it's may, it may be good that they are overloaded, because Goris was hit for no damage. Okay, so Goris is uh, resistant to this sludge, but the rest aren't, so I have to hurry, because they are going to literally kill themselves by walking into... by walking into this sludge. Uh, so, the generator. Uh, repair it. You failed to repair it, really? Hmm. Do I need to use science first to like diagnose it? Uh, this skill is useless on a generator. I have 84 repair. You repair the generator and start it up. Okay. Can I do anything with this computer? Nope. But, will the elevator work? That is the question. The door appears to be locked. Okay, but I have a lockpick. Uh, you failed to pick the lock. Really? With a 105 skill? Deathly pick the lock on the door. Okay. So, I wonder what's down there. Oh. Ok, 
Okay, I'm screwed. Hmm. Okay, there, there has to be something important or useful there with such powerful enemies guarding it. Oof, great. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> it's not, not, not a great opening to this fight. How wounded is it? Well, I can't see anything. So I guess I'm not going to learn that anytime soon. Hmm, almost dead. Okay. Uh, Sulek is blocking my way, but maybe Gorlis uh, can actually deal with it. Okay, is everyone alive? I think so. So, did it, did it leave anything behind? There is nothing unusual about this table, except that it's almost destroyed. Okay, I think Goris is alright, Zulik is alright, and Cassidy is alive as well. Are there any more robots? No, but there are plenty of containers. Mm. Remnants, you see the remnants of a security bot. Okay, so I can't loot it per se, is what you're telling me. Oh, plenty of stim packs, rad eggs and rad away. Mm, pretty useful. Uh, different types of ammunition. Which, even if I don't need, might be useful for selling. So, Goris, are you around here somewhere? You seem to have a large carrying capacity. Okay, let's continue. I wouldn't mind finding like a laser pistol in here or something, but more energy cells is also great. And that should be enough for quite some time. Yeah, what is Goris?
Okay, I'm not sure how much more he can carry. But it's still something. Okay, a laser pistol and a plasma pistol. Great. Great, I love this. Uh, what do they use again? Uh, this one uses small energy cells. And this one as well. Which are those? Okay, I have plenty of them. I'm going to check the requirements soon. Mm. Okay, so what's the damage and the strength requirements? Strength requirement 3, strength requirement 4. Uh, how, do, how do they compare to this? 10 to 22, so it's similar theoretically to what I'm currently using. Uh, 15 to 35. I think I was using the plasma pistol before, without theoretically without the proper amount of uh, of strength in Fallout 1 and it worked decently-ish so I think I'll give it a try uh, so take this take this give me some of those small energy cells I guess it may be 80 for now mm. I'll just gradually get more ammo from him. Doesn't make sense to carry it all. Uh, I think there's still more. Yeah, there's plenty. In fact, there's so much I cannot even carry it all. Okay, so I'll give those 160 rounds to Goris. And I'll take the rest into my inventory and keep as my own ammo for the time being. Oh, and combat armor as well. And as well as uh, something called Boza, the ultimate refinement of a sniper's art finicky and prone to jamming. Trans required... 6. Hmm... I will see what's the damage on that, and I'll consider it giving it to Cassidy, because I think I have the rounds, those kinds of rounds, as well. Uh, I'll give it to him, and see basically if he considers it to be uh, a better weapon than he currently has. Uh, but first, oh, damn it, I can't pick any of this. Well, I guess you have to take the ammunition for now. Uh, I guess just for a little bit, take the gag as well, it's pretty heavy. So, let's take this and give it to Cassidy. What rounds, what, what rounds does it use? Uh, 0.223. I think I have those. No, but you... Mm. Okay, I have to take something away from him.
Okay, so do you consider it to be a better weapon? Is what I'm asking. Hmm. No. Interesting. I'm kind of weird. Uh, m m maybe that's because you don't have ammunition. Although, although, uh, now, now that I'm now, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess I didn't check if it's necessarily better. I just kind of assumed that. Oh, you don't have any more space, do you? That's a problem. Okay, I'll sort this out later. I guess for now, I'm mostly happy that I managed to... Um, that I managed to get a plasma pistol out of this. Well, how, how heavy is that? I cannot pick it up. I guess the answer is too heavy for me. Let's store the ammo in here for a bit. Take this. And see what's the... How much does it weigh compared to this? This weighs 10 and this weighs 25. Uh, okay, the upgrade is not colossal. So to be honest, I think I will give that to Cassidy. him that because he's currently using it. Hmm. Still too much to carry for you. What? How is that even possible? That's just one point one pound more than you currently are carrying. Okay. Hmm. So Yeah, combat armor, okay. Uh, Sulik, do you have any space left? So you don't, right? Yeah. Actually, what did I leave in here? Not much, actually. I don't care about this type of ammunition anymore. So, sure, let's, let's just roll with this. But the problem, if I can call it that, is that I am still not finished looting. Okay, computer is non-functioning. Uh, Modern-looking computer, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this seems to actually do nothing. So overall, I'm very pleased with this excursion. Um, and it was definitely worth it. But just for the plasma pistol alone, uh, disregarding anything else. Hopefully I can do some trading at Navarro. <laughs> because all of us are over over encumbered, but Navarro is a is a military base, you know, uh, logically speaking. Mm, logically speaking, they shouldn't be buying random crap from random people who stroll in from the desert. But you know, logic does not always take precedence. Okay, this is just a random encounter with the reference to Monty Python, right? Hmm. 
you encounter a hermit. Okay, where is he exactly? So I don't see anyone. Whoa, 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 Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, lesser death clown? Still sounds like a nope to me, but target out of range. Okay, let's give it a try, although I think it's not going to happen. Eh, maybe? It seems they are a lot weaker than actual death claws. They are more like a more like a pretend death claw. <laughs> but what was that about a hermit? I didn't see anyone outside. Mm, hopefully if there was someone... Uh, wait, where is my ammunition? I guess I gave it to Goris. Hopefully if there was someone outside, I can still uh, find him later on. But for now... Seems I have leveled up. So let's do that. What do I need? Mm, or what do I want? I guess I kind of want to max out repair and science, and after that I'm going to think about what else might be useful. And maybe doctor? Okay, those are some kind of a pretend death claw species. Like they are nowhere near, uh, nowhere near as tough as actual death claws. range.
Okay, that's certainly weird. Mm, but they give good experience, so I'm not complaining. Just a little surprise they can even take them. They are pretty weak. Come on, freak, no! It's like the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Uh, they are pretty weak compared to full fledged death claws. Okay, I'm not quite sure what was the point of this entire cavern system, apart from giving me a lot of death claws to kill, but... Hmm... It, it said something about a hermit outside, but I didn't see anyone? Let's take another look. Yeah, I don't... I don't see anyone here. Oh well, that's a little weird. But also, this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to pause it here. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!